why should you retire early? I know most of the videos out there are about how to retire early or what you should do to retire early, but I thought I'd take a little bit different approach because of actually two things that happened to me this morning. And one of them was uh, a Facebook group that I'm in. It's a private Facebook group. It's for other dentists that are interested in real estate. And I was going back and forth with a guy. He was telling me how to play it safe. You should invest in index funds. And, you know, you have control over that. And it's hard to do real estate. And But you can do real estate and blah, blah, blah. But one of the things that he that he told me that it actually it, it struck me and actually really struck me to do this video was about his dad. And he said his dad worked his whole life. I don't know what he did, but he worked until he was 62. And then he had a little over $3 million in a 401k. He, he was ready to retire. And shortly after he retired, unfortunately, he passed away. So he, he, he worked his entire life getting ready to retire. 62 is, you know, relatively early. And then he passed away. And his mom was, because she was a government worker or something, she had she started getting her his Social Security benefits. Well, she had to send them back because she was a government worker. And I think about that situation and I think about how people are living today in their jobs. And I want to talk about one of the most important things that most people don't talk about, and that is our time. We, we talk about how to make this money and the compound interest and put money in this and that and wait for 30 years or 40 years. You know, that's that's the typical way to to invest, to, to approach retirement. But what about time and your time? So let's break it down. The, the average person works, what, 40 hours a week? You work 40 hours a week. Well, most people sleep, let, let's say, eight hours a day. All right, you sleep eight hours a day. Let's say you commute 30 minutes one way. So that that's an hour. So that's a nine hour. And then you you get home and then you have roughly five, that's right, five hours to yourself. Now, I don't know what industry you're in or what your profession is, but you know, if, if you're like me and like other dentists or, or a doctor, you're constantly hearing complaints from patients like, I hate going to the dentist. I don't want to be here. No offense, doc. And you know, and all this stuff. And then, and then you're dealing with employees and having to take care of them, you know, when they're complaining, you know, Susie said this about me, can you believe that? Or can we take off early for this holiday or this and that? So it's, so it's, you're, you're dealing with your staff or employees, or you could be employees. So you're, maybe you're dealing with other employees as well, or you're a business owner like myself. The point being is we're, we're always in it for making a living, for providing for our family, 40 hours a week, typically more. And we get home, and we, you know, we work five days a week, and then you have the weekend to what? To recoup, maybe catch up on your sleep, hit the grocery store, hit Costco, hit Sam's. Why? Because you haven't had time during the week to go do it. Maybe you'll go for a walk or hit a workout or, or whatever. But we we do that, and then the, the five hours that we have during during the day, we're, a lot of times we're just so tired, we do what? We're like, man, I'm, just, I'm too tired to go take a walk. I'm too tired to go work out or it's late. I've got to, I got to catch up on work in the morning or this and that. And just you're tired. You're worn down. And looking back on why I started the, the approach of wanting to retire early and financial freedom is because actually I hurt my hands skiing. And I, I, never, I never even thought about wanting to retire early. I just thought about, hey, I had to find a way to provide for my family. And because if you can't, it's kind of hard to practice dentistry, right? If you if you don't have your hands. So I started really taking a look at what other wealthy people do. And wealthy people, they really have multiple streams of income. Most dentists, most doctors have one, right? But what happens when that active income, your, your, your main income dries up? It's, it's kind of hard, right, to, to function. And never thought about that before. And most people, they, financially, they're living, it's so risky because if one little thing happens to that income, that, that's it. And once that happens, you're done. So what, what I was thinking about was, I was thinking about the effects that, you know, at that point, I've been practicing maybe like 10 or 11 years because I was listening to whatever everybody else does and did at that time. I had to work for another 20, 30 years. What would happen if I lost the ability to practice? And the wealthy people, they have multiple income streams and they typically had real estate in their portfolio. At that time, I had one income stream and I did not do anything as far as real estate except own my house, which as you know, if you ever listen to my videos, I think is a liability, not an asset. Why? Because it doesn't put money in your pocket. It takes money out of your pocket. It actually takes a lot of money out of your pocket depending on the 
where you live and what your house looks like. But let me get back to the main point of this and why you should retire early. It all boils down to time. You cannot make more time to make more money. Don't believe me? Take a look at the people that are 18 years old and they're multi, multi, multi billionaires. Anyway, they make way more money than people like me that went to school a long time to make money. So the point being is the, the older that, that I get, the more that I realize just how important time is. Time to spend with family, friends, time to doing things that you like. So let's go back to our calculation. That calculation was you pretty much, you have what, five, you have five hours to yourself every day to do what you want. To go work out, go hunt, if you want to fish a little bit, if you want to go grocery shopping, whatever. Now, take a look at retiring early. If you retire early, guess what? You have just tripled, that's right, you just tripled your time. Why? Because instead of commuting to work and working those eight hours and coming back home, now you have an extra 15 hours, not just five, but 15 hours. So you've, you've literally just tripled your time that you have for you, not anybody else, because most of the time is spent producing for other people, whether you're producing for your family, whether you're producing for your employees, whether you're producing for whoever, for yourself, it doesn't matter. You're doing something for other people. Yet, once you retire early and you're able to have money coming in to where you don't have to, you don't have to trade time for money, well, now you've just tripled your life. So that, my friends, is the reason why I've chosen to retire early from dentistry. And I'm going to continue to teach people how to do that. And once you get to the point where pretty much your income coming in replaces your expenses, you can retire early. Retire early from anything. Because I want people to get their time back. Why? Because we're built to serve other people. That is our purpose. Our purpose is to help other people, to serve other people. That's my belief as a Christian. And it's really hard to, to get out there and serve a lot of people if you're stuck in a cubicle or stuck in an operatory or stuck in a treatment room trading time for money. Because you only have five hours now, remember, to do what you want versus 15 hours a week. I don't know about you, but you can serve and I can serve a whole lot more people and 15 hours a day than I can in five hours a day. I encourage you, if you've never read the book, Simon Sinek, Start With Why, you have to have a really strong why to do anything, take action to be consistent with. And I've had a ton of failures with this passive income game, this real estate game, all, I've, I've had a lot of failures, but you know what? The, the why has kept me going. I have to do it. I have to do it for my family. I have to provide for them because if the if the dental income, well, at least back then, dried up, I was sunk. Now, it's not as important because I have other income streams coming in, which is helping me to transfer out of dentistry into doing other things. And doing other things is I want to serve other people. I want to help other people do what I'm doing. Again, if I'm working full time, it's hard to do that. And I don't care what you want to do. If it's retire early, if it's to get in shape, if it's to have a better relationship, with your kids, your spouse, whatever, you, you write down that why, you start with that why, that's going to be your, your push, okay? That's going to be your starting point. That's going to that's gonna make it happen. And you and you literally write it down and you put it up on somewhere that you can look at every day. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because it, it could just be a picture of your family, okay? It could be a picture of beach. Maybe you want to spend time at the beach. Maybe you want to spend time snow skiing or whatever. But, but every time you want to quit and give up, you just, you just look at the picture. You just look at what's driving it. That'll keep you going. Okay. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have other people that you know that this would be helpful for, maybe they should retire early. Maybe it could be one of your parents or something that's still working or somebody that you just think, you know what? It's time for them to enjoy life. Do me a favor. Send them, share this with them. Like this video. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video.